nobody has a right to tell you that you absolutely cannot get pregnant at 40 because you can how to get pregnant when you're 40 years old if you're new to my channel i am dr amarachi ijoma i am a fertility physician and my channel focuses on everything women's health and infertility so if this is the kind of content you're interested in keep watching what made me decide to do this video is because more and more individuals are delaying childbearing and this is okay more and more individuals are prioritizing education career or for some individuals it just happens nobody has a right to tell you that you absolutely cannot get pregnant at 40 because you can however in today's video i'll focus on giving you tips on how to maximize your chances of getting pregnant at 40 the implications of getting pregnant at 40 and the chances of getting pregnant at 40. it is common knowledge that when women get to their mid-30s fertility significantly declines this is because we all have the same amount of eggs at birth and then when we get to puberty with each menstruation we release these eggs so what's happening is there's no replacement for these eggs but every month we are removing some amounts of the egg so at some point the eggs are bound to finish and usually this happens from mid-30s and above however some women still have eggs at 40 at 42 even 45 usually when a woman gets pregnant at the age of 35 and above we call it advanced pregnancy it is called advanced maternal age because of the increased chances of chromosomal abnormalities of the eggs in the past before the introduction of new technology the only time that we get to check for abnormality of a fetus is when the woman is already pregnant so during pregnancy we will draw blood and then do a test to check for genetic abnormalities most commonly down syndrome because of the abnormal chromosomes in the egg so one of the major reasons women that are 35 years and above have a lower chance of getting pregnant is because they have higher chances of chromosomal abnormalities in their eggs and most of these eggs that go on to form conditions in babies like down syndrome usually don't even fertilize in the first place even if they fertilize they might not implant even if they implant it might lead to pregnancy loss within the first trimester so overall this can lead to lower chances of pregnancy in women that are 35 and above like i said it doesn't mean you can't get pregnant because if the first time you try it doesn't fertilize or the first time you try you miscarry it you try again and again because the next egg that will be released might stand a good chance of getting fertilized and actually becoming a baby so i'll be giving five tips on how to get pregnant at the age of 40 and above the first three tips will be natural ways to get pregnant at 40 and above the last two tips will be assisted ways for you to get pregnant most important thing is you would know a lot of your options on how to get pregnant at 40 years old number one do a full fertility workup what do i mean by this do all the standard infertility tests time is of essence here you cannot just decide to just have sexual intercourse all the time and hope that you'll be pregnancy no time is of essence so we need to do routine standard infertility tests some of the important tests to do include amh which is the anti-malarian hormone this test helps you to know the amount of eggs left in your ovary how much eggs are remaining do i still stand the chances how many eggs do i have another test to do is fsh and lh fsh and lh just helps you to know that your brain is still communicating with your ovaries if your brain is no longer communicating with your ovaries you can tell by the results of the fsh and lh because ordinarily it's the communication between your brain and the ovaries that helps you with your reproductive cycle with your menstrual cycle there's a whole lot of communication going on there i would put a link to one of the videos where i explain this so this test fsh and lh gives you an idea that it is still functioning there's still communication thyroid function test because thyroid diseases can impact your fertility as well other hormonal investigations include progesterone and estrogen of course progesterone will tell you if you have ovulated if you ovulate also ultrasound scan ultrasound scan shows you your reproductive organs oh is my uterus fine is my endometrium that's the lining of my uterus fine and my ovaries fine do i have follicles follicles are just simply sacs of fluid sacs of water that contains eggs oh do i have 
follicles how many are they gives you a picture another test to do is hysterosalpingogram popularly called hsg this helps to outline your tubes it shows you your tubes are my tubes blocked or are they open is everything fine once you've done all of these investigations of course you will need a doctor to interpret it so in essence my number one is see your fertility doctor because you need to do a fertility workup at age 40 while you're trying to get pregnant the doctor will also examine you he will do a uterine sound a uterine sound is using a slim instrument usually plastic or metal it's usually not painful just slight discomfort to go in through your vagina into your cervical os. Your cervical os is the opening on your cervix to be sure that there's no closure of that cervix because if there's closure of that cervix, even if everything is fine, you know, your ovaries are fine, your hormones are fine, and you're having sexual intercourse, how does the sperm get into the uterus? So you need to be sure that the cervical os, that's the cervical opening, is patent. That is, it is open. We need to be sure that it is open. So we will sound your uterus. So if after evaluation, everything is satisfactory your hormones are fine your scan is fine your x-ray which is the hsg is fine everything is good we've sounded your uterus your the opening of your cervix is fine we can now decide with the help of other factors whether you should be trying naturally whether you should go home and try naturally for a period of time of course we won't tell you to try naturally for one year but we'll give you like a period of time to try naturally one of the factors we look out for is have you had a previous pregnancy or have you had previous pregnancies because women that are 40 and above that have had previous pregnancies have a higher chance of conceiving than women that have never had previous pregnancies so this does not mean that women that have never had previous pregnancies can't get pregnant no it's just that there's a slightly higher chance for women who have previously had successful pregnancies in the past and are trying again at 40 and above to get pregnant so this is one of the factors we look out for when we are telling you okay you know what go home try naturally let's see what happens also patient's decision matters a lot because if all of your investigations are normal if everything is satisfactory of course and you want to try naturally of course you try naturally for a couple of months and then we see what happens some women that are 40 42 have been able to achieve pregnancy naturally so this is possible yes the chances are low but it is possible number two your partner should also do a fertility check in this case semen analysis why is he doing a semen analysis because remember that time is of essence you don't want to be trying and trying and trying without knowing if your partner's fertility status is also normal yeah and we know that infertility affects both genders so we need to be sure that your partner's semen analysis is satisfactory for semen analysis we are looking out for the volume the concentration how fast does the sperm cells move and is the shape normal if there are abnormalities in any of these parameters that i have mentioned it can impact the success rate of pregnancy number three know your fertile period this is for women who are 40 years and above but still have regular periods they still see their periods monthly they still have their cycle length between 21 and 35 days and also for women that have done their fertility investigations and have seen that all of their results are satisfactory including that of their partners so tracking your ovulation knowing your fertile period is important so when you track your ovulation it helps you know the right time to have sexual intercourse it's simple once you can calculate your cycle length which is the number of days between the first day you see your period and the last day before you see your next period so your normal cycle length is supposed to be between 21 and 35 days so i'm going to be using the average cycle length which is 28 days so imagine you have like a 28 day cycle and then we subtract 14 days from it it will be remaining 14 meaning that you you should most likely ovulate on day 14 plus or minus two really because you can ovulate day 12 day 13 day 14 day 15 or day 16. and remember that the sperm can survive in the female reproductive tract for up to five days and the egg itself can actually survive for up to 12 to 24 hours so you have your fertile period for about six days every month 
so this is the period you should have regular sexual intercourse what is regular sexual intercourse it just means having sexual intercourse as much as you like within this fertile period you don't have to have it every day you don't have to have it multiple times in a day because remember it's just one sperm cell that we need to fertilize an egg so you don't need to have it multiple times in a day you don't need to have it every day because if you have it today and you are ovulating in the next three days the sperm can actually survive in your fallopian tubes in your reproductive organs for up to five days so it will still be there waiting for the egg to come and fertilize it so it is key it is important to know how to calculate your fertile period when trying to get pregnant having sex at the right time is key to maximizing the time that we have in order to get pregnant in addition to this you should live a healthier lifestyle if you're not exercising try to start exercising at least three times in a week if your diet consists more of processed food try to eat more of nutrient rich food more fruits more vegetables you can have your carbs you can have your proteins you can have you know but just try to make your diet as healthy as possible with more fruits and vegetables take your prenatal vitamins always ensure that you take your folic acid daily in order to prevent birth defects in the baby avoid smoking because smoking can reduce the quality of your egg can cause your egg to finish faster and can also cause miscarriages so as promised the last two tips are going to be assisted technologies so number four is ivf in vitro fertilization if you're new to my channel i have a playlist on everything you need to know about ivf however in today's video i'm going to be explaining what ivf is ivf is taking your egg out of your body taking your partner's sperm out of his body, putting it in a dish, allowing the sperm cells to fertilize the eggs, putting it in an incubator for about three to five days, and then bringing out the resultant embryo and transferring the embryo back into the woman's womb. So this is an option for women that are age 40 and above. With IVF, there are different options. You can use your egg, you can use your partner's sperm, you can use a donor egg, which is a younger woman's egg, or a donor sperm. You can use both your egg and a donor backup. That is, you're fertilizing your egg, you're also fertilizing a donor's egg. This is to increase your chances of a successful IVF procedure. These are some of the options you have with IVF. So normally, you would have done a fertility workup at the beginning of the procedure. If your FSH and LH, remember, they are the hormones that tell you that there's a communication between your brain and your ovaries. If it still shows normal, the communication is still normal, we can actually try to use your eggs. But the chances are lower than when you use a donor egg because of, remember, increased chances of chromosomal abnormalities. But I can tell you firsthand as a fertility doctor that even though the chances are lower, it is still possible. Some women at 40 or 42 or 43 will come for IVF procedure, do IVF, and at the first trial, they get pregnant successful. Some other women will have to do multiple cycles, four, five, some women even 10, before they actually achieve success. And some women might do up to 10 and never achieve success. So one individual's result is different from another individual's result. And this has to do with multiple factors. Sometimes we can't even put our fingers on why is this woman pregnant and why is this woman not pregnant. IVF can be unpredictable sometimes. But this is definitely a good option at 40. One of the popular questions is, since I'm 40, should I just go straight to IVF? Well, not necessarily. Because when you do your test and you find out that you have satisfactory results, if you want to try naturally, that's okay. But if you feel like, nope, I just want to go straight to IVF, that's okay as well. The final tip is pre-genetic testing. What is pre-genetic testing? It's popularly called PGT. Remember earlier on in this video, I talked about a recent technology that will be used to check for chromosomal abnormality before the embryo is even transferred into the woman's womb. This technology is called PGT. PGT helps to reduce the risk of miscarriage in women that are 35 and older because it tests for chromosomal abnormalities, which is one of the major causes of miscarriage in women that are 35 and older. So what happens is you are only now transferring chromosomally normal embryos into the woman. So it reduces the chances. It doesn't completely eliminate the chance of miscarriage because there are other causes of miscarriages. But it reduces the chances of miscarriages caused by chromosomal abnormalities. 
so if you found this video informative and you want more content like this don't forget to hit that subscribe button below like this video share with your friends and see you in my next video